In this world, is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law? Is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own will. Bazuso? As long as I stand here, none shall pass. Who else wants to feel the blade of my axe? That's Bazuso, known as the 30 Man Slayer. Also known as the Bear Slaughterer. Good. Quit your dawdling, you cowards. Defeat him and earn the bounty. He's talking nonsense. He isn't paying that much. Yeah, why don't you do it yourself? Hmm. Huh? Who is that? He's still a kid. Look at the size of that sword. Does that runt actually think he's gonna swing that thing around? It's just for looks. He's gonna be slaughtered. But he has no experience. <laughs> hey, kid. Do you really want to fight with me? I see you've got some balls. But you're gonna regret it when I chop your head off with my axe. Either way, it's pathetic. That a kid like you is permitted to fight on the battlefield. There seems to be a shortage of soldiers in your army! Or all the men cowards! Speed is dominating All of you, charge! Didn't realize our opponents had anyone like that. Must be some kind of mercenary. Wondering which one of you is stronger? Don't be ridiculous. He's no match for our leader. Isn't that right, Griffith? Evacuate this fort. All right. We had a good run. Three months isn't bad when no one thought we would last three days. And we helped the Fife Lord escape. Yeah, we gave him their money's worth. Here's your reward. Go ahead. Check the amount. You impressed me today. 
Even if it was a fluke? A fledgling like you defeating Bazuso. Well, it's truly unbelievable. Young man, would you consider serving me on a regular basis? Your salary could one day be tripled. I would even promote you to a ranked warrior if you like. Don't you think that's a deal a mere mercenary could never resist? Well, don't you? Our contract expired today, didn't it? Seems the fighting is over around here. Wait a minute. I will secure your position and income as well. You won't need to put yourself in danger as a grunt during the war. Don't touch me! Don't you ever touch me. Huh? Hey! Someone's coming! Huh? Huh? Hey, that's the guy who just killed Bazuso, isn't it? What's he doing around here? Should we go get him? He was our opponent. That doesn't matter, the job's done. Then again, I'm sure his coin purse runneth over. You know, he got plenty of money for defeating Bazuso. Griffith! Mind if we get him? Do as you please. <laughs> okay, guys, come with me. <laughs> what is it? What are you laughing about, Casca? You don't really think you'll beat him. Ah, that's what you say, but I'm the one who was supposed to defeat Pazuso and become famous. I won't be satisfied until I kill the wanderer who came between me and my glory. Then you'll die. <sighs> ha! You'll see what'll happen. Oh boy, Corcus. Griffith, is it alright to leave this up to him? <laughs> Just my imagination. did to Dan and Earl. What is Corcus doing? Fight or get out of there! He's going to get himself killed! See? I told you so. Casca. Huh? You had better go help them. W wait a minute! Are you kidding? It's all Corcus's fault! <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Hey, uh, Rigul, you go next. W why me? Casca, <laughs> are you backing me up? Of course I'm not. I'm here on Griffith's order. Now, step back. <clears throat> into a corner. None of us can beat Casca, except for Griffith. His skill and the strength of his blows. I'm gonna die. Griffith. 
Griffith. Be careful! He's very strong! Will you put up your sword? I see. Another word out of your mouth. Sorry, don't kill me. Uh, how can you step aside now, would you, Casca? Uh. Don't talk nonsense. Don't you remember? I am no longer alive in your world. <gasps> you ran your sword through my body that night. I was in agony. Then I died. Gambino, please listen. I was... <laughs> Help me, Gambino! You were the one that Deserve to die. me. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. <sighs> Who is this? A woman. Black eyes. Where am I? A mercenary band. They seem kind of young. Huh? That guy. Black eye. 
place. Good morning. If I had my way, you'd have been left to die out there. Don't let it get to you. Casca is the restless type, always rebelling against her life as a mercenary. It's probably because she's far more skilled than the rest of us. She still can't get over that Griffith gave her the order to lie down by you for two whole days. You were shivering. You had lost so much blood after the fight that your body needed to be warmed. He told her it's a woman's duty to warm a man. Did she wake you with a punch? <gasps> I am Griffith, and you are? I'm Guts. Huh? A great weapon. A bit much for me, though. Would you care to join me for a walk? <laughs> Who are they? They have an unpleasant look in their eyes. The Band of the Hawk. The Band of the Hawk? Yes. Ever heard of us? I've heard only rumors. Band of the Hawk. The mercenary company known as Death on the Battlefield. They held off the castle siege for three months when everyone predicted the castle would fall within three days. After that, I never figured the Hawks were composed of these kids. So... What do you suppose Griffith is up to? He shouldn't have spared that brute's life. Well, I assume he intends to have that guy join us. Huh? We saw with our own eyes how powerful he is. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a great addition to our army. <laughs> Never! Don't be ridiculous, Rickett! He cut Earl's arm off and sent Dan to his grave. He killed our comrades. I can't pretend that never happened. Isn't that right, Pippin? Quite a view, isn't it? Tell me why. You could have stabbed me through the heart back there. It would have been easy for you. Why didn't you kill me? Because I want you to join me, Guts. What? I watched the duel between you and Bizuso at the castle. You were magnificent. But the fight was quite close. If Bazuzo's axe had not been cracked, you would have lost your head. Probably. At least you're honest. Judging by the way you fight, it seems you value victory more than your own life. <clears throat> you never yield an inch. Even when faced with a monster like Bizuzo, or outnumbered by a gang on horseback. On the contrary, you would rather recklessly engage any opponent that crosses your path. You are certainly brave, but I believe you purposefully put your life in danger and seek the meaning of your existence by battling to preserve it. That's what I see. You are fascinating. I find you much to my liking. I want you to join me, Guts. What is this? Why is he telling me all this? Well then, if I say no... You don't want to. Of course not! I refuse! Don't talk as if you know so much. What do you know about me? You've never talked to me. How could you know anything about me? You're right, I don't. I just have a feeling about you. Don't talk as if you know so much. Treating me as some kind of friend after you stabbed me. 
You started the fight. I'm not gonna forget about what you did to me. And I don't expect you'll soon forget about what I did either. Taking the lives of two of your comrades. What do you want then? Well, that's simple. To settle this with swords. I'll make a hole in your chest as big as this one when I win. What if I win? Do whatever you want with me. As you wish. I rather enjoy settling things by force. Griffith! Leave us alone, Casca. Uh, but... No matter what, I will have what I want. I've had enough of this. You make me sick! So where my girl? 